Hello, it's Axel from Sager. Today I want to talk about JLink Commander. JLink Commander is a free command line based utility that you can use with JLink probes as well as flashers and JTrace probes. And today I want to show you how you can use it as a simple way to connect down to your target board and your target processor. And you can use it as a little debugger as well as a programming utility. JLink Commander is part of the JLink software and documentation pack. So you can go to the Sega website and download and install the latest JLink software pack. And after you install it, you will see the list of all the different utilities that are part of this software pack. And you can simply double click on the JLink Commander shortcut and JLink Commander will open up. So the first thing that happens when JLink Commander starts up is it goes out and looks for any connected JLinks, flashers, or JTrace probes. If it finds only one, it will automatically connect to it. It just so happens I have a Sega Empire board connected to my computer by USB. And JLink Commander automatically connected to that when I started it. So it shows me the firmware version that is on my JLink OB, the hardware version, the serial number, as well as the reference voltage. If there are multiple Sega probes connected, then you will get a little pop-up menu and you can select the one you want to connect to. So now that I've established a connection between the PC and the JLink OB on this target board, I can go ahead and actually make a connection between the JLink probe and the target processor, which in this case is a Cortex M4 from NXP. So I can come over here and say connect. And the first thing I need to do is specify the device that I want to connect to. If it's the right one, you can just hit enter. Otherwise, you can hit question mark and you will get a list of the thousands of devices that are supported by JLink. And you can select the one that you want to connect to. Next thing we need to do is select the target interface we want to use. In this case, I want to use SWD. And we have to specify our target interface speed, which in this case, four megahertz is fine. So I just need to hit enter. And then once you're connecting to your target board, you might find that it might be locked. So you can say OK for JLink Commander to unsecure that. And after that happened, we're connected to the target device. We can see a variety of items that JLink found on the target chip, including the ROM table that shows us various IP blocks that are on the device. So currently this device is completely empty. In order to do any debugging, first thing I need to do is download some code. And I can use the load file command for that, just like this. And JLink Commander will download this demo program for me. After it's downloaded, I can get confirmation and timing of how long it took to do the programming. And it was OK. So next thing we need to do is reset the target. And then we can say go. So now the code that we just downloaded is running, as we can see on the target board. And it's running under debugger control. So I have complete control with JLink Commander over my target. So at any point, if I want to, I can just say halt. And execution will halt. I will see the contents of all various CPU registers. And at this point, I can do some single stepping. So if I hit S, I will step through my code on an assembly instruction basis. And at any point, if I want to, I can just run again 
by hitting go. I can also do some memory dumps in Jlink Commander, so I can halt the program again and inspect some memory. So for example, this command shows me the first 100 bytes in memory. But that's really just the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with Jlink Commander. If I type question mark at any point, you will get a list of commands that are available in Jlink Commander. And you can look through the commands to see what's available. You can also get that list of commands on our wiki, on our wiki page for Jlink Commander. Here you can find complete documentation for Jlink Commander, including the commands, how to use Jlink Command files, which is passing files to Jlink that include Jlink commands. It talks about how to do flash download, how to use command strings, and so forth. On this page, the commands in Jlink Commander are actually listed in separate categories. So you have basic commands, commands for Jlink configuration, commands for target configuration, for debugging, memory operations, and so forth. There are also a lot of command line parameters that you can use with Jlink Commander. So you can use it for automated testing or automated programming. And when you're done with your Jlink Commander session, you simply hit Q for quit. And that quits Jlink Commander. And the target just starts running again. So in a nutshell, that's what I wanted to share with you about Jlink Commander. It's a very, very useful tool, so be sure to check it out at your convenience. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please also watch our other videos on JLink and the JLink utilities. Thanks for watching.